F Monday. God forgive me, I just... Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome, if you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, I have missed you so much. Welcome back. You guys, today we are talking about one, two, three, four, five five or so fragrances. Okay, new to my collection that I cannot wait to share with you. I have spoke about, girl, we don't care, just get into it. Anyways, here on this channel, I cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, I'd love for you to take 2.5 seconds and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a new video placed on this channel. Also, you do not have to stop there because whenever you don't see me here, I'm definitely on Instagram. So come over, say hi, introduce yourself. I have been having a ball chatting with so many of you over on Instagram, in the DM section, on my page. It's been really fun. So you guys, I have, like I said, about five or so fragrances. We're gonna jump right into no particular order, but I am going to start with the one that I talked to you all about in a few videos back. Um, and I was telling you I was contemplating picking up the full bottle because it was so good. And of course I did. And it is from, okay, yes, you may have guessed it. Maison Francis Kirk John. This is Amorous. This is the Extrait de Parfum version, okay? This is the EDP. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It has some woody notes in it. I have full dedicated review of this fragrance. Uh, probably about two or three of them on my channel. I played with it for about two years or so before I picked up the full bottle. I just wanted to be certain that I really did want it and that I loved it before I added it into my collection. Like I stated, when I am spending my own coins, I always like to make sure that I love a fragrance before I actually purchase it. This one here, like I said, is perfect for spring. It's perfect for summer. It does have some depth to it, so I think that it would be appropriate for an evening wear as well. Um, going through spring, going through summer. It's a white floral. It has citrus powdery notes in it as well. It's lemon, it's iris, it's paracords, it's amber. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I was super excited to get this. I did order this from the Maison Francis website. I've shared that experience with you guys. Oh my gosh, this is good. This has gotta go on skin, honey. Yes, this is so good. It's so good, it's so refreshing. The lemon really comes through. You get that bergamot citrus note in the beginning as it dries down and warms up on the body. It does begin to be a little bit more woody, a little bit more creamy, a little bit more rich. It has a great longevity. It lasts a good six, seven, eight hours, just depending on how you spray. I spray extremely heavy and I always spray my clothes. Even a blouse such as this, um, I would spray this and I wouldn't be, you know, thinking, oh, it's going to stain. I already sprayed it before and I never had a problem with it. Now, if it was all white silk blouse or something of a solid color, I would be a little bit more concerned about it. But being the fact that it is a pattern blouse, I know that it's not going to stain and it's not going to leave like a big, you know, wet spot on the blouse. I have had that happen before too. I always say try out your fragrances before you spray them directly on your clothes. But if you know what it's going to do, I highly recommend spraying your clothes. It's going to definitely help with longevity. I move on. Oh, I feel like somebody's teacher in this outfit. Anyways, um, yeah, this blouse is by Lily Silk, you guys. I did a video with them maybe last year, so I wore it before. It's spring colors. I felt it was appropriate, but yeah, I do have a discount code with Lily Silk. So if you want to pick this up, I would definitely have it linked in the description box below. You guys ask, girl, can you start linking the blouses, linking the shirts? I will. The next one we're going to dive into is one that I was sent over from the House of Creed, Windflowers. It's their new fragrance that they are introducing. This was very different for me. I'm going to show a little bit of the uh, footage that I captured unboxing it. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would have already seen that I put a reel to this. This. Um, I posted it on my page. It was a beautiful, beautiful presentation, the way they sent it over. It had a big, beautiful box. It had, you know, all the thrills and feels, the confetti, everything. It had a nice card that came with it. I kept the card so that I can share that with you guys. I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but this is their new fragrance. The House of Creed is pleased to present to you Windflowers. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It even came with a nice, beautiful book, you guys. The details, okay? The details, it's got some beautiful pages in here that's telling you about the brand, the history, 
And then they also have a nice beautiful spread in here actually on the fragrance and you know, all about it and everything like that. I thought that was really, really beautiful. I love the way they sent this out. It is a softer side of Creed. I have not seen this side before. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. We'll get a couple looks of that up close, but I did want you to see how beautiful this is like. I'm gonna use it as a coffee table book. It's really nice and I, I really like that. So Creed, thank you so much for sending this over. I truly appreciate it. The box is looking like this here. This is what the box looks like. I absolutely love it. The colors are beautiful. It's a very feminine fragrance. When I posted this on Instagram, you guys were like, girl, spill the tea. We don't wanna wait. Do you like it? Do you love it? Tell us about it. And when I sprayed this fragrance, I wore it up in Napa. I took a trip a couple of weeks ago at this point now. Well, yeah, I, I can't keep up with the time. But I took a trip to Napa and I wanted this to be my airport scent. So I did spray it on. You guys, it has a good longevity. It, it lasts on me a good six and a half, seven hours. Same thing and same rules apply. I sprayed heavy, I sprayed everywhere. Um, I felt very pretty when I put it on. I felt very pretty, I felt very whimsical. It's very luminous, it's very bright. It's, it's a very pretty girl, modern fragrance, I would say. Let me give you a few of the notes and then we'll talk. Jasmine, orange blossom, peach, tube rose. It has some rose in it, sandalwood, musk, iris, and praline. And I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it. Let me show you the bottle. This is what the bottle looks like here. Beautiful attention to details. It's like embroidered here. It says Creed going across the top. And then it does say the name of the fragrance here, which is Windflowers. And I absolutely love that. It has a top that says Creed at the very top and their signature uh, writing that they typically use for their other fragrances as well. And then it does have a nice silver bow over on the top here as well. It's a beautiful fragrance. Where would I wear this to? Let me start by saying that. This is a fragrance that you would definitely, look at the, yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the atomizer. So here's it. You could spray a little or you could spray a lot. You know what I mean? So it is one of those, I would definitely say, it's something you can wear to church, you can wear to brunch, you can wear it as an office scent. It's definitely signature scent worthy. It's a very pretty girl, pretty woman, modern fragrance that just captures luminosity, um, femininity, uh, dainty, girly vibes is what it gives me. It has a tad bit of sexy, but not your Tom Ford kind of sexy. It's more sexy along the lines of a pretty girl, sexy. You know how somebody walks by and you're like, oh my gosh, she smells really nice. You know, she's well kept or she looks well put together, fresh manicure, pedicures. If I would have had this, I would have definitely put this in my pretty girl fragrance. That's the type of fragrance it is. Um, would I recommend it? If you love those type of fragrances, I would highly recommend it. I think it's a beautiful scent. I am extremely happy to have it in my collection. It would be to me along the lines of a Chanel Eau de Tendre. Uh, it would be like Miss Dior. It would be like another one that I'm getting ready to show you. It doesn't smell anything like that. I'm just saying it's along that realm. Um, Mon Perry, YSL, Mon Guerlain. It's, but, but it's pretty, it's rich, it's very feminine, it's very girly. It doesn't smell like them. I'm just saying it would be in that category of a fragrance. Um, Joe Malone, uh, Cherry Blossom, you know what I mean? So it's on that note of a fragrance when it comes to, you know, what kind of round would it be in? So I do have quite a bit of those in my collection, but I am super excited to have it. I'm very thankful. And I do believe that it is a beautiful fragrance. If you don't have those type of fragrances and you're looking for something this spring, this summer, even for a wedding day scent, this is absolutely gorgeous. You cannot go wrong with this. I would highly recommend it. You definitely need to get a whiff of it. It does need to be, um, it definitely does need to me to be worn on the skin. When I put it on skin, opposed to wearing it on the paper or spraying it on like a blotting card, the blotting card is good, but on your skin, it is simply beautiful. It is one to experience. I highly recommend getting a whiff of this. I move on. Beautiful fragrance, you guys. I kid you not. Beautiful fragrance, you know me. If it's not true, I'm not gonna say it. It is what it is. If you watched the vlog back, I went to Bloomingdale's, I went um, walking through, I was vlogging, I shared that vlog with you already. The lady reached out to me from Confessions of a Rebel and she asked me, would you wanna smell like a rebel or would you rather smell fresh? And I was like, are you kidding me? I am Sheree, have we met Dwelly? I wanna smell like a rebel, I wanna smell sexy, I wanna smell like what in the world's going on, who's causing all the drama, what is the commotion? 
that's my fragrance darling and she gave me and gifted me this one here which is called um <laughs> let me show you the name it's called you know it's monday uh f monday is that what it's called oh my gosh god forgive me i just use the abbreviation you guys she doesn't use profanity over here okay this is a newer fragrance that came out i believe it came out in 2020 i was going through vlogging and she was like oh you talk about fragrance and i'm like yes i love fragrance i'm obsessed with fragrance all things fancy and fabulous dually and she was like, well, let me give you this, try it out. You know, so she didn't ask me to do a review or anything, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I totally, you know, shared with you when I was getting it um, on the vlog. This opens up with apple bergamot. It has sage, peach, sandalwood, musk. It's a very fresh, clean, bright, airy, perfect for spring perfect for summer type of fragrance that will not break the bank. You can pick this up at Bloomingdale's. I will have all of these and all of the information linked in the description box for you below. I'm gonna spray it. The sprayer is really good too. I love it. I love anything that's like a mist, that's wide, that's finely mist, that's evenly distributed. I think I just like spraying fragrance. I mean, just be honest, girl, say what it is. It gives a moderate longevity. When it comes to longevity, you're gonna get about a five and a half, six hour, um, it is more of a fresher fragrance, so the longevity is not, you know, beast. It's not like, you know, a fiery, um, what do I call it? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think. It's not a um, beast mode fragrance, no, but it is perfect for the occasion. This is good for every day, and this is a unisex fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human could rock this fragrance, and I'm going to say it, it's sexy. It is sexy, especially on a man with an open shirt and a little bit of a like a, a necklace or some sort and a big face watch and he's like are you ready to go oh yes <laughs> just say oh my okay anyways girl back uh, anyways yes this one here is very sexy i would highly recommend getting a whiff of it i do know that they have samples because they sent me home with tons of samples i will probably review a few more of the fragrances from this line but this one right here is highly worth a whiff i would highly recommend getting your nose on confessions of a rebel that is the name of the fragrance brand and the name of the fragrance is f mondays it's worth the whiff i highly recommend i move on another one i was in zara um, and you know, I'm kind of obsessed with the Zara fragrances now. So every time I go in to look for clothing, I've got to do a fragrance sample. And so I tried out a new one and I, and I actually bought the candle as well. And this one is called Two Bros Noir. This is also a unisex fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this fragrance. Like I said, it's called Two Bros Noir. It does have two bros, white floral, yellow floral. It's a sweet fragrance. It has ylang ylang, it has sandalwood, and it's sexy. Let's just answer the question right away. Yes, it's sexy. Yes, I love it. Yes, it's good, good. I still like ebony wood better, but this right here, I would highly recommend getting a whiff of. It's gonna give you about a six and a half to seven hour uh, moderate when it comes to longevity. It's not beast mode, it's not in your face. It is sexy, it gets on the body, it you know meshes with your body chemistry, or at least it did with me, warms up into the skin when you reach for something or you go down to pick up your handbag or you move, you do get a whiff of it, especially when you're out and it was kind of breezy. I got a nice whiff of it. I wore this two nights out on date night, absolutely love it. It did not disappear, it did not play a magic act. It was there, I paired it with my um, body cream by Skin Potions. So if you remember, I did that video with Skin, I love their, their, uh, their body lotions, you guys. They are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna link them in the comment section below as well. If you have not tried Skin Potion and you need some nice body butter, whipped body butter cream, highly recommend giving it a whiff. So that's what I paired this with and it was a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I move on. And I know you guys haven't seen this vlog yet, it's still in production, waiting to come out. But I did go to a Dior pop-up shop that was here in Melrose. I'm not gonna tell too much about it because it's all in the vlog. I don't wanna be redundant. I did pick up a new fragrance and it is this one here. This is Miss Dior and this is Rose in Roses. Um, they had so many different fragrances there. It was a beautiful experience. This is the one that I vibed most with other than the ones that I already have. This one is a 2020 release. I absolutely love it. I'm actually spraying this on me. This is another beautiful, 
atomizer. It's the bergamot in the beginning. It's the Italian Mandarin, darling. It has rose white musk. It is another pretty girl, bright, airy, beautiful spring, beautiful fragrance for summer. Um, I would highly recommend this for a wedding day fragrance as well. A lot of you are asking me, what do you recommend for a wedding day fragrance? I will have that video out for you but this would be one that I would recommend for a wedding day fragrance. It's simply beautiful, not a huge beast when it comes to projection or longevity or anything like that. I wrote down uh, notes here. I got about a six hour wear out of it. It was moderate, but it did stay on my body. It did project. It was on my blouse the following day. So I just took notes so that I can let you know as much as I can. Like I said, spring and summer, um, I, you can pick this up anywhere. I'm sure you can pick it up at Sephora. You can pick it up, you know, where it's sold, but I did pick it up at the pop-up shop. It was a beautiful, neat experience. Um, this fragrance right here just made me feel pretty. It's a very pretty girl fragrance. Definitely worth a date night, a day date brunch, church, shopping, hanging out. It's just a good fragrance all the way around. And it's an easy reach. It's not too fussy. It's not too in your face. You can't go wrong with Miss Dior Rose and Roses. I did pick up as well the body cream, the body milk. Their packaging is absolutely everything, you guys. It came to the door packaged so well. This is the body cream that it came with. It's very luminous, it's very silky. I love it, I layer these two together. This is how I'm getting the fragrances to project and last a little bit longer, especially when they're a lighter fragrance by layering them together. So this can be layered with all of my Dior fragrances as well. It's not just tied to rose and roses. It could be layered with all of them. So I really was excited about that. And then of course I did pick up, if you know anything about me, I'm not a huge lipstick girl, although I have tons of lipsticks. I am a lip gloss girl. My lip gloss, my lips are popping. Remember that song? My lip gloss is popping. Girl, just let it go. Anyways, I picked up the popular, popular, popular lip glow, lip gloss is what it is. It's a lip glow oil. I picked this up as well. I wanted the pink one. However, they didn't have the pink one. So I got this one here, which is a clear one. It's always sewed out, but it's very nourishing on the lips. It hydrates the lips. It makes them shiny, okay? It makes them pop and I'm all about a big lip gloss. When my guy and I first met, one of the first things he said is that all I seen was your lips. How much lip gloss did you have on? This was a free gift with purchase that I did receive from the brand as well. Beautiful here. I'm gonna use this as a notebook to just write down content ideas. It's fancy, it's fabulous. I told you Dior has taken a very, very special place in my heart. Dior is slowly but quickly and have already become that girl in my life. This is what the card looks like that they sent out. Their attention to details, everything that they do as far as when it comes to packaging, I just cannot get enough of. It's absolutely gorgeous, even down to their receipts. They did send me home with a free gift with purchase as well. You know when you purchase from Dior, you do get samples. So there's two samples inside of here as well. Nice drawstring bag. I'll be traveling a lot this year, this summer. So I will be taking this with me as well. And then it did come packaged in this beautiful box here. And I took everything out already, but it did come in this really nice box. So that was nice as well. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. You know I truly appreciate you. You guys have no idea how happy I get to film, record. I just feel like, somebody said in the comment section the other day, they're like, oh my God, every time I watch your videos, I feel like you're really here. Here, I could top that. I could give you one better. Every time I film videos, I feel like you guys are all here with me, especially when I get to know your names and your pictures and your faces. I'm not gonna start naming names, but some of you are like on every single video and I'm like, oh my gosh, like girl, how you doing, guy, how you doing? You know what I mean? It just feels like a really huge, beautiful community and I absolutely love it. I look so forward to reading your comments. So do not forget to drop me your sin of the day, leave me any suggestions, leave me any videos that you wanna see and I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill, be blessed. Stay fit and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.